salutations and greetings. My name is Marge. You call me Margie. I'm a Hayoko Wise Clown. Welcome to my tube. <coughs> it is early. I'm used to getting up early. Sometimes I'll get to go back to sleep, but today is not one of those days I have courses of action I need to take. I need to go take care of some 3D responsibilities. I'm called to drive two hours for a 30 a minute appointment. But what do you do? You go. And then you show up 15 minutes early. Only to wait probably 45. So we'll see how it goes. I think it's funny that they still have appointments when time is so freaking irrelevant these days. Oh well. And it doesn't even really matter because the people that set the appointment are usually freaking late anyway. Oh, there's so much that doesn't make sense to me. That's kind of why I do these videos. I didn't sleep much last night and I haven't had any coffee yet. Partially because I get I got really excited right before bed. And then you just get, I get it all spun up and I try to do my meditate state. And it's just, my excitement was bigger than my body's desire to sleep. So, here I am because I need to be consistent. Because there's not enough consistency in the world and that really freaking bugs me. All this lack of integrity. God, I wonder what the place would be like if people just did what they said that they were going to do. Or if they couldn't, at least explain why they couldn't, maybe. With a, I don't know. It's all, the climate's changing, everybody's evolving into this new idea, of the new way of thinking of collective consciousness. So the ones that are thinking poorly, you're kind of wrecking it for the rest of us. Let me sell it, tell you. I spent my morning watching some videos. There's a new movie out I want to see. I already got the name wrong. Sometimes I get a freaking idea of something. It gets stuck in my head, and it's my reality. It doesn't matter how many times I try and remember it right. Nope. Not gonna happen. It's, uh... What's it called? See, I already forgot it. It's Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick. I freaking love Anna Kendrick. Um, something about a favor. Something about a favor. I gotta get it right. You can't wreck it. You gotta be after it, right? A simple favor. I didn't even have to, I, I didn't find it. I just can't, it popped into my head. A simple favor. Anyway, Blake Lively. She's married to Ryan Reynolds. I used to watch Ryan Reynolds on a show called 15 on Nickelodeon back in the freaking mid 80s when I was in junior high. <laughs> it was a total soap opera for freaking I know it's his little bag of tricks that people like when he goes and does interviews for they if they bust out one of those he probably hates it. But nobody not a lot of people watch my videos so I'm not it's not like I'm busting him out here. But that show I freaking love that show cuz I used to watch I mean I, people I grew up watching with people that watch soap operas and stuff so General Hospital. I remember Luke and Laura's wedding. <laughs> anyway. Um, it was a soap opera for kids, dude. In all life, it, people freaking just like drama so much. It's weird to me. Drama makes me uncomfortable. It does. I think it makes a lot of people uncomfortable. Because like when people die and stuff like that, they all say the same thing. I'm sorry for your loss condolences or when something really 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 great happens I fucking hate when people say congrats like you're not so happy for me you can't even spell out the whole word congratulations really plain lazy there's no effort to be put in I think the freaking light bulb spoiled it for a lot of people it's kind of funny yesterday I've been uh, reading more about Vedic astrology Vidic, Vidic, Vidic astrology, Vidic, the Vidic is in. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> anyway, um, and I wonder, because Eastern medicine, Eastern, Eastern, Eastern's got it going on, is freaking the Westerners. <laughs> we are a little mixed up. Kind of a sorry bag of tricks right now. <laughs> but uh, my whole life, you know, Aries. And then I thought it was a plot twist a couple months back when I deter when I found out that I was a freaking cancer rising. I'm like, oh, that's why I cried I cried all the time. I started watching Channel 27 freaking months ago, months ago, months ago, like freaking months ago. So maybe I'd have to go back. Time is so weird. Anyway, plus I'm a Hayoka that likes to toka. <laughs> Sometimes it comes complicates things a little bit. Uh, Anyway, so she introduced me to Vedic Astrology, Heidi Vandenberg. So I started watching Heidi and Jenny Moonstone and... Um, and other folks per their recommendation. And, 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 and that's the cool part of esos, esoteric collaboration is that we all, when you come in alignment with people that are your same frequency that you vibe with, then um, and you start learning stuff. You start learning what they know and you teach them what, try and teach them what you know and it's just all collaboration. And, and then it seems like the more that you meet, it, it makes this... I, these ideas and concepts, realities. Um, so she, because of that, all that stuff, I found out, and I, I am more in alignment. And I wonder if this is true for a lot of people, because I was always told I was Aries, Sun, Cancer, and then I found out Cancer Ascendant, um, Scorpio Moon. But what? But in Vedic, I am a Pisces, and I and it just, I guess it's it's like seeing your first UFO that you know it's real and you know it's true. But you just got it. It's gonna take some time getting to your new your norm of, oh, this is reality. Everything that I was told before is misleading, and I've had if you've seen my videos of at all this last week or last couple weeks there's been a lot of misleading so um so i am far more in line with pisces sun still scorpio moon um i feel scorpio i'm i i think i i found out that i am a really good scorpio i'm a much better scorpio than i am an aries <laughs> i thought i was doing aries wrong and then my ascendant this is the new plot twist in the Vedic calendar or uh, chart, I'm a Gemini. What the huh? What the huh? I've known Geminis. I've liked Geminis. And see, that's what it's all about is what you feel you are, your spark, how it matches in other people. It, that's what determines the frequency. And the more people that are in alignment, the brighter the spark. That's why, like, Coliseum concerts are so big and freaking... I don't know how they do it every night, stars. Because I'd got to recharge. I guess they stay up, though. They stay charged. I hope you're meditating. Walk around the grass and stuff. I know you're hanging out with your friends. Anyway, be dick. So I wonder how many... got me in this line of thinking is I wonder how many people have been misled by Western thinking as to what their idea... People got to switch and change and reinvent the wheel all the time. Why don't Uber divers... I mean, it's just weird. It's like... Ta I just think of Uber and taxi... There's... I don't know. I guess... I... Evolution is a course of action. Is... 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 Is natural. It's selection. I mean, it's not, it's not natural selection. I don't know why I said that, but... But... It's um, it's important for progress. What is being differentiated, and this ties in with 
Vedic astrology and even the Andrea Kendrick movie because she I watched I spent this morning watching videos of interviews with her and Lively Blake and Lively freaking I could pull a suit off like that only I'm more for bow ties yeah I'm more of a I bow ties are my thing I have a lot of bow ties real ones authentic ones that tie your own that only take five turns so I don't know why people bother with clip-ons. Anyway, so, uh, and it, and it, I got a nice compliment from someone, uh, somebody made a nice comment this morning on my video yesterday, and, and it all tied it in together, and it's authenticity, you know, and, and, and Anna Kendrick's character plays a blogger, blogger mom, who is just like, eh. and I call it, I call them plastic people, people that just go through the motion and regurgitate information without any personality or any kind of flair or sensation of their own. They're just programmed to the point of they just do what they're told and say what they're told and eat what they're told and dress how they're told and all these things. And that's always perplexed me. You see, I, when my ego starts flaring and I start thinking that more people should see, start seeing my videos, then I start to think about, well, my life experience has put, started down here, low, and I've been up here, when I say up here is I've stayed in four, I've said five star hotel before the other day, but it was a four star hotel. This is a really nice hotel on the island of Crete and I was in Airman Basic so to me in my mind that's up here and I know there's farther up well economically right I've I've felt higher on the top of mountains than I did in fancy hotels so that I'm more of a nature pure type simple type person that's why I whatever excess I have I'll give it away because I know what it likes to suck and I want to make it suck less for more people. <clears throat> so the bigger the stream, the greater the extreme. That's why it takes, like, if you take ice water, ice water or cold water will boil faster than room temperature water, even though it's closer to the temperature of boiling. But it's the greatest difference that causes the great, the, it's like ignition, like spark in your car. It's like the greatest temperature difference causes a reaction in science. I wish I would have taken chemistry. I know I'm going to have to go back and take a lot more classes, but um, I just have to remember that not a lot of things are in line with me. More things are coming in line with me. Life has been uncomfortable for me because I just have been kind of this little... I say I'm technically an L, L alien because just because I was born in San Bernardino and it's close. Ella, it's a play on words, and that's what I do. I like to play. I'm here to try to make some friends so I can come out and play with you. So, um, this is just kind of a <clears throat> another affirmation of just listening to your head, heart, and guts. And when they're all in alignment, it'll get you to where you need to be, not where you think the world wants you to be. Hope you have a rad day. Peace.